Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Magnus. I am very tired, because I just did workouts, and it was very hard. But I still want to play some Civilization, so here is part 11 of Let's Play Civilization 5, playing as Harald the Danish Empire. So, I've had some time to think, and I decided that a war with Sweden is going to be inevitable, after all. I could still try to go for a culture victory, but I need to do something about Stockholm. If I can't take it, then at least I should attempt to liberate some of the Sheria's cities. That way I'd knock Sweden off his pedestal a little bit. He's already not very fond of me. Uh, he doesn't want to trade with me, so... Yeah, he's, he's very hostile towards me. He has so much gold, it's not even funny. Uh, I need to work on my economy. I need to work on my science first and foremost. Once I got that in order, I'm going to start working on banks, and then I'm going to start working on military academies. And then I'm going to start producing submarines like crazy. Because uh, submarines are a very good way of taking out his navy. He does have a pretty massive navy. Uh, I have three oil, and I'm actually even... Hmm, oh, you have whales. You know, I'm actually not too keen on that. Or I'm actually quite fine with that. I think I want to buy her whales. That works. I think uh, that will give me We Love the King Day. I need all the happiness I can get right now, so... I'm gonna snag the resources while they're available. Uh, open borders is not bad for me. I mean, there's not like she can steal any more of my dig sites, and... Yeah, I don't really care if she travels through my borders. It's nice to be able to travel through hers. Not that it makes a huge difference. But I would like to, her, for her to aid me in the war against Sweden. Um, there we go. I'm no longer getting oil. Yeah, I was actually considering uh, settling a city. And this may sound incredibly stupid. But I am considering settling a city on this snow tile right here. Now, before you go all ape shit and say, Manx, that's a terrible city. And it is. It is a terrible city. Uh, it would be the worst city in the world, actually. It would. However, it would give me oil. And that alone is almost worth it. Of course, it would also get fish. In fact, this city right here, on the snow hill, would give me three fish tiles, as well as two oil tiles, which might just be what I need. So I am actually going to build a settler. And I know this sounds incredibly crazy. And I'm probably going to ferry some uh, production over to the city with some boats. Probably going to have to use my raids internally. Uh, but right now I'm actually going to focus on my economy. Economy and science. I need a lot of gold for the upcoming war with Sweden. I need gold to upgrade my units. I just need gold in general for pretty much everything. Uh, there is no way uh, that, uh, that I will be able to beat Sweden if I leave them alone. It's not going to happen. You know, just forget about it. It's not going to happen. Easy as that. Okay, he wants wine. Okay, uh, he has, like, he can't give me anything, though. So, no. He has, like, earning one gold per turn. That's just tragic. Arun al-Rashid, however. He's the homeboy that matters. We don't have embassies, seriously? Okay, seven gold per turn. I don't think he's particularly fond of me. But if I can get this trade off with him, then that might actually help my relationship with him, which is actually very important. Now I just got two small modifiers with him, which might just push me over the edge. Right now I'm actually losing four iron, so my frigates. However, my frigates I'm not really going to use in combat anyway. And I know it's complete madness. This city is absolutely horrible, but I'm going to settle it anyway, uh, just for the oil. It's gonna give me, yeah, it's gonna give me 11 oil. And with the tenant from autocracy, which I do plan on getting, and I'm gonna actually go for military science, with the tenants from autocracy, which I do very much plan on getting, I will actually uh, be able to get 28 oil. And without oil, I'm not gonna be able to get battleships. Without battleships, well, <laughs> I'm not be gonna be able to win the war. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to have to force to settle this crappy city right here. At least it has three fish tiles, so it will not be completely horrible. But it won't get any yields from this tile I'm settling it on. 
And of course there's coast air, so a lighthouse will certainly be good. I will ferry some production over to it, so probably some food as well, so it will grow. So I'm going to spare two of my trade routes to do that, which is not ideal, of course. Okay, this is actually perfect, uh, and also a little bit dangerous, actually, because... Uh, hmm? Okay, it seems like uh, Fraps crashed, but we're back. Okay, so yeah, wh I, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, something about, yeah, this city kind of sucking, but it's like a necessity at this point. It really is. So, I'm not going to hard buy any buildings in it, I think. See, I, I just can't afford the gold right now. And it's a crappy city by all means, but what can I say? I just really need the oil. I mean, I need battleships. I need a lot of battleships. Um, submarines and probably fighters as well. Yeah, I'll need a lot of fighters. Okay, so now that I've actually done with the research lab, I think I'm gonna go for two workboats uh, before the research lab. So we do this, and now we can actually get over to this hill tile and settle the new crappy city that will be crapping. Absolutely horrendous city right there. Can't believe I'm really getting it. Do I really have open borders with Sweden? I think I do. Okay. Oh, Sweden is going to go settle on the landmark. No, wait, that's Bab Babylon, actually. They're going to go settle on the landmark, which I constructed. Well, I suppose I won't blame them. It's a terrible city, even still, but at least, hey, they got a landmark. So, yay, my landmark is being utilized. <laughs> now, actually... There's something I'm wondering about right now. Uh, where's my archaeologist sat? They're both embarked because right now I just got a great work of art right here. So if I can do this, now we have two works of art. So if we can replace them with Danish artifacts that I'm pretty sure we will be able to... No, wait, what? Seriously, you need different... Come on! How do you get a fucking theming bonus on this stupid... <sighs> hmm. Well... Okay, I'm getting a... theming bonus right here, because I have... Oh! They want different artifacts, okay. No, wait, what? No, wait, stop. Nah, no, no, no. Get the theme bonus back. Okay, well, I, I give up. I don't really understand how I'm supposed to get theming bonuses. No, wait, what? I know I can get a theming bonus right here. There we go. Well, at least I got some theming bonuses going on. Oh wait, I only need one workboat, come to think of it, actually. Yeah, and after the research lab, I need to get working on a bank. And then a stock exchange after that. I need all the gold I can get. Also, my happiness is sucking again. Then we need flights. Oh, I would actually really love Fora. That requires autocracy. And I don't think it has been built yet. Will I get an engineer anytime soon? You know, if I could get Fora, then that pretty much will solve my happiness problems until the rest of my days. So I actually would really love that. Okay, we need to get a worker down here. What are you doing, trading post? Lol, get down here. Construct an oil well. We're gonna go even deeper into unhappiness once we settle this new city, which will be crappy indeed. Okay, luckily, we're getting a museum in Viborg, which means we can get two more works of art. Because we are sending archaeologists over to this... Yeah, there they are. Well, here's the infantry that's gonna... Alright, the infantry is actually going for the um, for the encampment. And the other archaeologists, I believe, is going to this hidden dig site right here. Where is he? Uh, let's see, units. Where are you, archaeologists? There you are. So there's the one. And here's the other one. What the fuck is he doing? 
He's being really, really slow. That's what he's doing. Oh. Oh, you fucker. Alright, we're going for this one then. Okay, so now we have a cargo ship. We're actually going to put that on hold for the time being until we can construct this new city. Alright, let's settle the new city of Crappington. And uh, I'm not really sure if I am... Hmm, do I just want to buy these? Oh my god, that's very expensive. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, okay. Um, banks. I think we want banks right now. And as for this city, I think a monument is the right thing to do. At the start, at least. We should definitely ferry uh, a Tunsberg, actually. Found a Tunsberg, that's kind of funny. Um, we're definitely sending production to Tunsberg. It's actually supposed to be written with an er, uh, like this would be the. It's actually wrong. This is actually how you write it in Norwegian, but since the English alphabet doesn't have the this letter, it uses u instead. So this is actually the correct one. So I feel very pro right now. But yeah. This city is going to be <laughs> interesting, to say the least. Uh, it's not really going to grow any, I think, to begin with. Uh, not until it gets the fish, at least. I could actually use some more work boats, I think. Maybe I should just... Uh, I don't know. The city will grow eventually. Oh, come on. How is this anywhere near your lands? It's not, so just stop it already. But yeah, we need... Uh, we need many banks. We need markets and banks in all cities and probably stock exchanges as well. Because, uh, yeah, this ain't going away anytime soon. Alright, great work of art. Wonderful. And uh, now we can place two more artifacts into the museum. Let's see if we can get a theming bonus going on here. Yes, we can. A plus one theming bonus. Maybe we can get a plus two one. No, just a plus one, but that's fine. Okay, uh, research labs are certainly what we need to go for first, but they're so expensive, that's really my problem with them. I think perhaps I need the gold first, so I'm actually going to go for the stock exchanges and then the research labs. Sounds like a good idea, actually. This research lab is about to be done, but after that I want to go for the bank, and then uh, at the very least we're going to get some military academies. So you can go for... Uh, actually, the, I should definitely go for barracks in all my cities once I can afford it, because uh, because uh, they do give some nice happiness. Armory too, actually. I should really go for armories and such. Definitely. Okay. Military academy too will give me a lot of happiness, so that's good. I might want to prioritize that, actually, until I can get into positives. Uh, there we go. Actually, you know, that might actually be a good idea. Maybe I should bump up the military academy. You know, just to give me some more happiness. That might actually not be a very bad idea. Because we need the military academies. It's all about prioritizing, really. Um, we do need the bank, and then we need the military academy. We do need happiness in a big way, if we're going to be able to do anything right here. Okay, well, fuck those guys. They're going home. Alright, the archaeologist is here at last. That's good. At least someone is doing something useful. And now we have two more works of arch to fill, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we do. So we can excavate both those dig sites, and at least our culture is looking very solid. I mean, we're nearly getting 200 culture per turn. That's actually pretty kick-ass. Um, but I'm actually half considering building Prora once I get the um, once I get the uh, that's like two happiness and plus two happiness plus one for every two polishes I've adopted, which is pretty much going to be like two, one, two, three, four, five. Six. It's gonna be seven happiness from one wonder. That's oh my god, I can actually steal oh do I wanna steal flight or dynamite? I'm thinking flight, actually, but dynamite would statistically give me more turns. But then I wanna I wanna go for battleships, so I'm actually gonna go for flights. That's actually awesome. Who did I steal that from? 
Mecca? Really? Huh. You know, come to think of it... 87 turns, that's a long time, holy crap. But maybe it's worth it? Nah, 87 turns, that is not worth it. I am actually half considering... Sending this guy. Like, how much influence does Sweden have right here? 92? I am actually considering sending this spy to Vancouver. Because I actually don't really want Vancouver to fight against me. It would be nice to steal them. Because uh, they're very close to my borders. And then I'm actually going to send my max rank spy to... I don't really care if I break my word with Sweden right now. I think that's going to be a lot faster than 87 turns. Alright, let's go for electronics. Supersonic. And we really need to start, guard, start to get worked on, uh, on battleships once we have the military academies in place. As well as the economy and the happiness, of course. We're going to lose so much happiness from going to war with Sweden, but... It's a price I'm willing to pay. Sad but true. I could also build some military buildings in tons, but I suppose. I uh, probably wouldn't be the worst. Uh, this city is really only used for oil, and that's it. That's like... Yeah, that's really it. Okay, 11 turns until we get the next policy. Once we get banks in all of our cities, that's going to help out considerably. Uh, Mar Maria is friendly. Uh, Harun al-Rashid is still neutral to me. There's still a lot of things he doesn't like. Huh. Maybe I could get a... I, I do think I have a trade going with him. Does he want horses? He usually does. Okay. I mean, as tree gold I wouldn't have otherwise, so thank you, I guess. Well, then I'm actually going to send some food to Tunsberg to make it grow a little bit. Uh, we do want... Where's... Or can't I do that? I guess I can't. Well, if I don't send this one out to trade, I'm gonna lose a lot of gold. Yeah, I need to I need to keep this trade route. That's actually super important. I'm losing a lot of gold right now. Which is not good. But hey, at least I'm getting gold, so that's something, right? I really need... Actually, I don't really care if this city doesn't grow. I'm really only using it for oil, so... I think this city will be the first one to fall. I'm definitely going to liberate a lot of cities over to Assyria to erase my warmonger penalty. I mean, that's really what I want to do. Erase warmonger penalties. Oh, 18 turns? Oh, research agreement. Do I... Re yes, I want it. I want... You can't say no to research agreements. They're too good. They're really just too good. Oh, Maria has declared war in Arabia again. Well, they just can't stop fighting each other, can they? Okay, my hope is that I'm gonna be able to somehow reduce Sweden's influence in Vancouver to the point maybe I'll even send a trade route to them. If I could just snatch them away from Sweden before going to war with them, that would be really kick-ass. My spy is gonna take some time to rig the election. Let's see if I can steal some text from Sweden. That would be actually pretty kick-ass. Alright, what do I want here in Tunspike? Probably... Um, a workshop would... No, a lighthouse would probably be nice, I think. I am actually not sure. Um, barracks will help me out with the happiness, that's for sure. And it's very cheap, so I might just go for that. Yeah, why not? It's basically just two happiness. I'm not really going to produce any units in Tunspike anyway, and I don't really care if the city grows. It's just for oil, and that's it. I'll probably grab the fish, despite that, but I don't know. Oh, come on. Manhattan Project? He's that far ahead. He's already on Atomic Theory. I sure hope he doesn't have any uranium. <laughs> that would actually be pretty bad. Nukes are not cool. So yeah, we're building those military academies. They will help out. And once we get some more tenants, I think I'm going to go for yet another happiness tenant. Of course, this also means... Uh, the new city, of course, means we're going to get policies a lot slower. Which is not cool. I'm still angry about this landmark. I really am. <laughs> it's actually super annoying. 
I'm gonna keep firing production to turn spike so I can keep building units. Sorry, I mean keep building buildings. That increases my happiness. I'm just gonna build Colosseums and whatever I really can in that city. Crystal Redentor, okay. Well, fuck you. He is gonna get so much culture right now. I am actually quite. Uh, let's see. He is now rising slowly uh, with me. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. And I now have 36 unhappiness from public opinion, so that's only going to get worse from now. There's really nothing I can do about it. Hmm. But the oil will flow. And once the oil starts flowing, that's when I'll start hoeing? I don't, <laughs> I don't really know where I was going with that one. Um, uh, he's plotting against Harun al-Rashid. That is free influence right there. Can share my intrigue. Let's actually view his city. What is he doing right now? He's building airports. Okay, so he is going for a culture victory. Else he wouldn't be going for airports. Let's trade with Mecca. That is also one of the trade routes we really need to uphold. If we want anything good to happen. Uh, so yeah, I would definitely want to try to focus my efforts on snagging Vancouver away from Sweden. That way, at least, I won't have any city-states on my territory going to war, which is definitely something I'll need. Upgrading battleships won't be cheap. It won't. It will be very, very expensive. Lots of gold will be required, which is why I'm building banks everywhere. This war will take quite some time to prepare for, because it's going to be a massive war. Oh, that's a lot of Babylonian lancers. Are he, is he going to war against me, because I need to make sure that does not happen. I should probably speak to Babylon and see if he covets my lands, and see if he's, want, if he's willing to declare war on Sweden. I should probably check with all the leaders, really, to see. Uh, let's see. Hello, Babylon. I think he's pretty afraid of me. Oh, yeah, he's laughing at my military, and he is not very fond of me, in fact. We don't even have embassies. He is willing to get embassies now, so that's a good sign. Uh, hey. Um, is he willing to sell any votes? No. Is he willing to declare war in Sweden? No. Is he willing to declare war on Maria? Yes, but at what cost? Is Maria willing to declare war on Gustav? No. Is Harun al-Rashid willing to declare war on Gustav? No. I am actually not liking this army from Babylon right here. It's actually quite scary. Alright, Portuguese artifacts. Awesome. This isn't actually a, like a terrible city either. It has a lot of fish. Ah, oh, fuck you, man. Really? Huh, okay. Well, that happened. That certainly happened. That kind of fucked up my plans. I should have known he was going to do something stupid. Uh, maybe getting Gustav to declare war on him would be beneficial. I could try. I'm not on the best footing with Sweden, but I can certainly try. Alright, 19 turns. No, wait, what? Sir, seriously? 73 turns to steal? What the fuck? That is ridiculous right there. And my frigates are actually kind of weak as well right now, which is not cool. Oh, fuck! I completely forgot about the World's Fair. Oh, no. I think... Oh, crap. That's bad. I just gave him World's Fair. Yeah, that is terrible, actually. It's not like, well... And he has uranium, so... Uh, that's bad. He doesn't want to declare war on Babylon, so I'm pretty much on my own right here. Well, we can send our... caravels, I suppose, or our frigates. Um don't really know if I want to upgrade them, to be quite honest. 
At least we have Bucharest. That's going to help a lot. At least we can put our frigates to good use. We have a caravel still? Okay, that's interesting. Let's see, we can we have a privateer here that we can actually use to do something good, I suppose. Uh let's just um, Yeah, you can just stay still. I do believe we have some more frigates somewhere around here. Got some privateers that we can bring into the fray. And uh, we should probably send our land units to go and protect uh Bucharest. As well as our great general. But we gotta be careful because Sweden might very well fuck us in the ass when we <laughs> look the other way and in search of better language to use, there was like the only real term I could find. But yeah, Babylon got bored, he needed someone to play with, and yeah, now he's here. And wow, okay, that ironclad did a lot of damage to me. I am actually really worried now. I don't think I have walls in the city. Seriously, the city has great library? Huh, interesting. Yeah, I completely should have seen that coming. Well, we gotta deal with it. He has a lot of stuff, actually. Uh, I never really got a chance to take Babylon. The city is just too well defended. Without battleships, it's completely hopeless to do so. Uh, let's see. Well, we got units on the way, but I'm not sure if they're gonna get there in time. And they are a little bit outdated. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, would really be nice to get some help. I gotta say. Oh, they killed my great general? Or my great admiral? Yes, they did. Assholes. Well, I got a Lancer at least. <laughs> That's something, right? Uh, yeah, I need to move this guy out, and I need to upgrade him. Perhaps I should have done that the other way around? Probably. Alright, dig site. Indonesian artifact. Good. I think that was the last artifact. So far. I don't think I can get more. Hmm. Your frigate was destroyed by a Babylonian ironclad. Okay, so he has ironclads. I killed my lancer as well. Marcrath is taking a lot of damage. And now he also has cannons. That's not good. There's a privateer here, even. Sure. Why don't we have embassies? Do they? Do we tear down the embassies? Or what the fuck is the deal with this shit? Okay, I think if I want Marakrats to survive, I need to buy walls in the city. If I don't, then the city is going to fall. I also need to upgrade my Norwegian Ski Infantry. So that's that's something that needs to happen. So There we go. Uh, now, of course, that's going to take their entire turn. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, oh, I could... No, that's an Indonesian person. Alright. That's a Babylonian great general. I would love to take that guy. I would, actually. Well, at least we have the ski infantry. They're ready for war. Maybe I could build a citadel, actually. That probably wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. You know, a citadel right now would actually be a godsend. But yes, I am going to buy walls. I cannot afford to lose this city. If I do, I am fucked. I don't like spending gold on walls, but I should have built them. I did plan to, I think, at some point. I don't really know what stopped me. Oh, wow, frigates can't really deal with ironclads. Ironclads are pretty darn powerful. I'm a little bit out tacked. I simply don't have the economy to upgrade my things. And who just got the City of Liberty? Probably. S oh, fucking hell. I knocked over my soda can. Mm. Always drink the soda in your soda can, Mings. 
or else bad things is gonna happen. Oh crap, Marketh is going to fall. Hmm. Uh, can we save the city? Sure. Well, it's no wonder my iron class suck, or my frigates suck. They, I lack iron, so they're getting a hefty combat penalty. Now, if I can defeat the privateer, as well as block the Great War Infantry... Oh, there's another privateer here. I should have known. Um, there's also... Yeah, this is bad. There we go. We need to shoot down this thing. Although it's only really gonna be replaced by another, so... Well, we need to buy a castle. If we don't, then the city is gonna fall. So I hate spending money on that, but... It's the only thing I can do. I'm also unhappy, which is not helping the war. A lot. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, we gotta do what we can. We need we need our happiness to go up badly. Um, I don't really want to build a zoo, but I don't really see what other choice I have. I guess the military academy will work as well, I suppose. Just keep building stuff. Ah, we can get the fish. There's no reason not to get the fish, I suppose. This privateer isn't really doing anything useful. We'll send it down to Arhus, even though it's going to take seven turns to get there. I'm probably going to have to send my units up here, I suppose. As much as I don't want to. I guess I should have built those roads after all. I guess the libertarians weren't correct. You do need roads. Okay, let's see if the city falls. I did buy a walls and castle there, so the defense strength should... Yeah, the city just fall, fell. Okay, so, hmm. I think that for the first time in, in all of these four Let's Plays, I am going to have to consider myself defeated. And I know what you're saying, guys. Manx, you're giving up too easily. You only lost a single city. This situation right here has been looking hopeless for at least two to three episodes, to be quite honest. I have kept on to a small beacon of hope, thinking that perhaps getting enough battleships and submarines would make me able to stand up against Sweden, but they have rocket artillery. They have fighters. They have bombers. They probably have nuclear bombs soon. And with Babylon attacking me, that was kinda... that was kinda the, uh, the weight that tipped the scale, so to say. Um... Yeah, I've, I've lost this game. Sweden has spiraled out of control. I should have stopped Sweden a long time ago. I should have gone to war with Sweden. Like, okay, um, it's time to do kind of a, a, a summary as to why I lost this game. This game was very winnable. This is actually an amazing start that I've had here. And some really good cities, considering this is Ice Age. And there's very little food here. These are actually pretty strong building, uh, cities I have right now. What did I do wrong? Well, first and foremost, I attacked Bobolon not once, but twice, and nothing happened as a result. I wasted units on a war which yielded nothing for me. I did get some nice peace treaties, he did give me some resources, but my plan was always to try and take Babylon. If I had taken Babylon, I would have gotten a lot of science and a lot of good stuff, and that would probably have made me be able to go up, with spe uh, go up to par uh, with Sweden. But since I failed to take Babylon, because the city is just in a, such a ridiculously defensive position, with hills surrounding it, and basically on the only coast being a narrow one that is very easy to defend and <laughs> toppled with insane defense strength, it was impossible for me to take Babylon, so I should have just ignored Babylon. Instead, I should have sent my berserkers to Sweden and tried to take a few of his cities. I should have come to Assyria's aid when Sweden attacked Assyria. 
by not doing so, I allowed Gustavus to take over pretty much half the world. And he is unbeatable right now. There is no way you can stop him. There is no one who can stop him. Even if everyone went to war against him at the same time right now, which would never happen. But even if we somehow miraculously managed to get a deal where all of us would attack Sweden, I don't think it would have been enough because he has rocket artillery. His tank is out of control. His culture is out of control. I picked the wrong tenants. That is also something I did wrong. I went for autocracy. Well, autocracy is amazing. I should have gone for the same tenant as Sweden. Realizing his immense culture, I am getting 36, no, actually now I'm getting 32 from public opinion. I could have adopted a new ideology a long time ago if I weren't so freaking stubborn. That might have saved me, but the big d big mistake I did was generally in, in not selecting the same ideology as Sweden and just rolling with it. He selected order. I should have gone for order too. It would actually have been a pretty good tenant to go with, considering the amount of cities. Uh, another mistake I did was ignoring the defenses in Marrakech. This war with Babylon could have gone much better if I'd already had the walls, castle, and maybe an arsenal ready in the city. I left Babylon alone. I didn't take them seriously. I didn't think they'd ever be able to pose a threat. And here they are with ironclads. And uh, also, another reason why I lost was that I simply have no economy. I didn't build banks quickly enough. I'm starting to build banks now at Torn 448. So we're already in, like, the... Uh, almost in the atomic era, and I still haven't gotten banks in all of my cities yet. This is the point where you want stock exchanges in all your cities. I'm getting 16 gold per turn, and that's with nearly every single trade route maxed out. Um, without stock exchanges and banks, you cannot field an army. You cannot have a proper economy. You can't win the game without gold. Another thing I also did wrong, I didn't build my science buildings quickly enough. I didn't beeline for for education. Or actually, I, th I do think I beelined for education, but I did not beeline for public schools, which you also have to do on Immortal. So by looking at it, there's a lot of things I did wrong in this game. A ton of things I did wrong. And had I not done these things, I might have been able to win. But I think the nail in the coffin, regardless of me doing everything perfect, the nail in the coffin was not stopping Sweden. I have left Sweden alone. I thought I could could go up with him once I got battleships. I now see that that is never going to happen. Not with rocket artillery. They will just destroy my battleships. And he probably has fighters, if not assault fighters. Sorry, I mean jet fighters ready. So I am sadly going to have to retire from this one. Uh, it really sucks that it would end in this way. But uh, that's the fate of some civilization games. You can't win them all. Uh, to be quite honest, Denmark is a lackluster civilization. I mean, they're kind of cool if you can actually get a lot of early wars going, but I didn't really do that, and none of the wars I really started got me anything. Uh, you know, except for the Indonesia one. I did, did get some nice cities from Indonesia. But yeah. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this Let's Play right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm really sorry about the terrible ending, but you know. Can't always be a happy ending, I suppose. Anyway, what kind of civilization would you like to see me play next time? I'm always appreciating your comments. Uh, your comments on the reason why I keep making these. If people wouldn't watch my Let's Plays, then I wouldn't be making them. Easy as that, so... Yeah. I guess this is the end. My name is Sin Mengs, and I'll see you next time.